Hold on. There's a special guest. Oh. Who is it? Just do it. Don't do it. Talk. Don't say anything. Oh, are you guys making your stupid show? Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, I guess I can't really say. Man, I could. I could pick that annoying voice out of any lineup. Every time your name is <laughs> <laughs> You do too. It's not it's not just a single boo. I do. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, nothing new. it's pure pressure. <laughs> I'm used to it. Did Joshua watch uh, the movie? No. No. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Well, that sucked. I don't know how you felt about watching me eat a bunch of jelly beans, but it was awful. That was fun, uh, but I feel like it probably wasn't as bad as Reaper. No, I, th- I think the Reaper was definitely more painful. Although, so the taste was awful. Uh, anytime I got a bad jelly bean, especially at the end when I started doing handfuls of them, because I'd, uh, I'd get like <laughs> eight different jelly beans all at once. And that was horrible. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the worst part was just the amount of jelly beans that I ate. Like, I think if I, yeah, if I would have, how many was it? I don't know. It was, I mean, it was like a, if I cut both hands together and poured jelly beans into them, it, oh, it geez. yeah, it was like that many jelly beans, <laughs> you know, that, that many of a good jelly bean would make me sick. That's what I was about to say is like, I felt so just gross afterwards. I was like, Oh, this, I, I just hate jelly beans. Like it, it Cause the taste wasn't just the taste was sugar. Yeah, the taste was bad, but it was Ugh. the afterwards of feeling like I just ate a pound and a half of sugar that really <laughs> ruined my day. Oh, uh, and yeah, and you know that stuff doesn't digest very fast. It just sits there. Yeah, I definitely know that. <laughs> um but currently on patreon you are up by one vote i lost a vote oh really yeah someone oh you lost a vote yeah, someone deleted their vote from me and uh ouch which makes me nervous because i really don't want to have to sport a mustache for a month straight yeah neither do i um are you so you're growing out your facial hair right now right well, that's what I'm most concerned about. It's taken me 20 years to get to where I'm at. <laughs> I don't have another 20 years to wait. <laughs> You're not going to make it to 40? Not at this rate. <laughs> not with these challenges. I'm sure one of them is going to be we're going to have to play Russian roulette or something. Oh, man, I hope so. I hope we get to the point where one of us dies from this. How about if from now on, if we tie, we both have to play Russian roulette? Just every tie is just Russian roulette? Every tie. All right. But you only have semi-automatics, though, right? Yeah, so <laughs> that's that, see, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the mustache thing is – it was funny when I first brought it up and when I, when I thought about it, and then I was like, oh, that's a – this is going to be awful if this happens. Yeah, especially – I mean, I don't know what – the the culture is where you are and how people would even react but like i gotta go to work <laughs> and i i just know okay. people are gonna laugh hang on you are gonna fit in in the oil field so much better with a mustache than you wouldn't uh it's gonna look creepy though yeah, well definitely i know i'm gonna look like a creeper for sure <laughs> definitely it's gonna look creepy i think because i was thinking about it because you you're you have blonde hair and so it's right. not as clear, but I think when you notice, like, oh, that blonde guy's got a mustache, it's extra well, creepy. Think, so, like, it's harder to notice, but when you do, yeah. it's much more pack- impactful. There's 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 three levels of creepy mustache. Uh-huh. Number one is a dark pencil mustache. <laughs> yep. Number two is any blonde mustache. And then number three is then the Hitler mustache. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we definitely can't go that far. We can't go to Hitler mustache. 
No, I, I would I would think not. Which leads me to the, my next question. What are the thoughts of Hitler in Thailand? <laughs> Is he like someone who's talked about ever? Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of uh, Holocaust deniers, or I guess they're not really deniers. There's a lot of people who don't believe the Holocaust happened. There's a lot of people really? who don't even know what it really means. It's just kind of okay. like something that passed by here. Like I've, because there's a lot of people that wear, you know, Nazi stuff. And there's actually a band. I think they're Thai that dress up for. It might have just been one music video, but I think it might be their whole like thing is they dress up like yeah. Nazis and you know, I don't know. So it's it's very, it's not necessarily a bad thing here it's not it's not taboo no definitely not huh. like if you wore, walked around wearing a swastika you would not have any issues no that's that's weird is that what you want to do for the next month it's... just a swastika challenge uh yeah you have to dress like an officer of the ss <laughs> i think i think that we have to veto that one uh, but i uh, i was yeah. thinking for the facial hair challenge uh uh-huh I don't know if you remember the guy who we went to church with. He was like your favorite person. Who, oh boy. His hair. So he. Whenever someone says that, it's either someone you really like or really hate. Oh, you know, you really like this guy. His. Okay. He had. Which church? Uh, Rosedale. <clears throat> he had. The, the, okay. Yeah, I think you know. He had chops, but he connected his chops straight to his mustache, but then he had a clean cut line underneath. You know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about that older guy? Yeah. That dude was cool. He looked like he fought in the Civil War. That's what I'm saying. I, he's your favorite person. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if you were going like favorite person is in. I hated that guy because that guy was, I looked up to that guy. I know. That's what I. That's exactly what I was saying. I wasn't being facetious. Dude, I was no, legit. I really did like that guy. I, and that I, was really cool. I considered if I was going to lose to do that. But I, I don't have my on like in between my nose and my cheekbones. I don't have enough yeah, hair. Yeah, I, I don't exactly. That's where I'm at. Too. I'm not as I'm not manly enough to to pull that one off. You could always do one that's a little in the same vein, like the W, right, where it comes down from your side, your sideburns, kind of down to like uh, your chin, uh-huh. and then up to a mustache then back down on the other side and then back up to the side so it makes a w on your face so no chin that, no chin hair no chin hair <laughs> that was popular during the civil war as well i went i went and got a uh, so here when you go get a haircut you can get a shave too and it's like two bucks it's like the haircuts are awful is kind of the trade-off but it's really cheap um <laughs> yeah but they i had them shave like just uh trim up my beard like clean it up and he gave me the worst like it was like a chin strap beard like it was he cut it down so <laughs> low and then left my mustache and i was like oh this is i look like i look like the wrestler uh prince albert from the wwe oh, back geez. in the day let me see let me pull up a picture of him real quick for you did you get any pictures there is one somewhere at but i can't tell you where it's at so okay i'm going to send you this picture it uh, ignore the chin because the chin is inaccurate, but everything else is. All right. It's the. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just imagine, <laughs> just a full chin, but the rest of it would look just like that. Oh, that's great! Yeah. It's the uh, Prince Albert WWE did is you, what I typed in. Did you realize what he was doing while he was doing it? Uh so he used he used clippers and so it was like it was committed by the point. You know what I mean? Like he he cut off yeah. so much it was like, well, there's nothing I can do now. <laughs> like it's either let him do what he's doing oh, or shave my my whole face. So. Yeah, we're going to need to see this picture. <laughs> I don't. I, there's not a digital copy of it. It's printed out. I don't know where. Make it happen. Uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> That's funny though. But uh, yeah, so mustaches are coming up. That will be interesting. Anything else going on this week for you? <sighs> um, 
Not a whole lot. No. We uh, so t- let's see. Today is Friday. Th- this should come out today, uh, or Saturday for you. And then we got the hate us episode coming out. That was yeah. awful. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I th- it was a roller coaster for me. Yeah, which we'll get to. Yeah, it was it was um, so bad. But it was like, uh, ah, I'll save it. I'll save it. It's too juicy. <laughs> and then on Sunday, let me see what we have coming out. Uh, Die Hard. Oh, yes. Die Hard. Die Hard and Home Alone are coming out Good. this week. These were our... I feel, we, like, we I were, feel like we did Die Hard forever ago, and we did Home Alone like yesterday well we did die hard at the beginning of december and then we did home alone towards the end of december we took like three weeks off i don't know if you remember huh okay uh, but uh yeah those nice. were our, our christmasy episodes that are coming out in february classics yeah. but uh nope that's you- so that's just for the patreon <laughs> i forgot i forgot the patreon yeah. episodes come out two weeks in advance so if you're not on patreon what's coming out then boo yeah boo yourself just like a Joshua. Exactly. Uh, we got Rugrats and Pineapple Express. Oh, yes. Those, Those we, good ones. we definitely recorded a long time ago. Yeah. I feel it. But, uh, all right. Well, if you want to help decide who has to wear a mustache for the whole month of March, you can go over to Patreon, and for a dollar, you can vote for Taylor or Alan, and whoever has the least amount of votes has to pay the punishment. Uh, with that same dollar, you get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. Uh, yeah, please. Please, for for my family's sake, vote for me. <laughs> my wife is very concerned that I'm going to lose. Um, yeah, the same. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think Crystal will like it? Uh, definitely not. Oh, that's what, one more thing I had to ask you. My mom yes. is so dead set that one of our punishments has to be we eat a jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, that is not going to happen. <laughs> I I don't even think, like I kept telling her, as a punishment. Someone who loves mayonnaise should not ever even do that. <laughs> as a punishment, it would not be enjoyable to watch. No, I would throw up. Yeah, because. Like probably every bite. The first bite. You remember Black Mirror oh, episode one? Oh, when uh, the guy has sex with a pig and everyone's excited to watch it, yeah, it, it would. I imagine it would be like that. So they're excited and then they're disgusted and then they're horrified and then they're just like, "Oh, this is." They're like, "Why are Why are we why, watching? Yeah, this? Yeah, why is this still happening?" I feel like that's what it would be like to watch one of us eat a jar of mayonnaise. One hundred percent. We'd be like, "Oh, this is oh, this is not." Good. Even oh. even people who hate us, we'd be like, "Oh, I feel really bad for that guy." <laughs> yeah, it's a good way to gain sympathy. Well, I mean, you you somewhat like mayonnaise, right? Well, like on a sandwich, yeah. Obviously, I feel in like, moderation, I feel, not like I feel like that's a, of it. I'm getting set up for something. You like mayonnaise, right? Well, no. I don't. I don't hate say mayonnaise. Like, I'll, I'll put it on stuff. Yeah. Even the thought of having the slightest smudge of it on something that I'm eating makes me want to throw up. <laughs> That's unreasonable. Like that. That I would not even agree to that punishment. Just like I like a a dab of it. No. <laughs> oh, oh, it just makes me want to throw up right now thinking about it. <laughs> well, it's awful. Thankfully, we're not doing that one. Uh, we'll see what happens if there's a huge backlash about us not eating mayonnaise, but I, I can't imagine anyone wants there's to watch that. There's a huge backlash and I will quit this podcast. You'll quit? <laughs> don't done. Don't I say that because that. now you're going to start stuff up. People are going to try to get rid of you. Yeah, I know. I've been looking for a way out. <laughs> it's you. This is it. <laughs> you're going to start it yourself? Yeah. But yeah, so patreon.com slash I seen that. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. And we will be back uh, tomorrow with uh, our Hades episode. Woo!